in this video lecture let us learn regarding addition reaction of aldehydes and ketones with hydroxylamine addition of hydroxyl amine with aldehydes and ketones the formula of hydroxyl amine is NH2OH hydroxyl because of presence of OH amine because of presence of NH2 so therefore the formula for hydroxyl amine is NH2OH this is also an example of nucleophilic addition reaction otherwise can also be called by the name as condensation reaction now let us see how this reaction proceeds first let us learn the reaction with aldehydes as you know the general formula of aldehyde is rcho aldehydes react with hydroxyl amine now first step is addition process now this entire molecule will add up in the place of double bond now how this addition will be taking place r single bond c linked with above hydrogen as it is and below what happens this hydrogen one hydrogen from here and oxygen from here will attach as OH then with single bond there is one more hydrogen with nitrogen so NHOH so this is an addition compound now this will further undergo condensation that means eliminate a molecule of water how will that be taking place oh from here will react with hydrogen linked with nitrogen and they go out as water therefore carbon and nitrogen will be linked by means of double covalent bond so let us see how the product will be r linked with c above is hydrogen now linked with nitrogen by double bond and with nitrogen there is OH and then water. So these are generally referred by the name as aldoxins. Aldoxins are simply oxins or the general name. If it is from the aldehyde, we should call it by the name as aldoxins. Now let us learn this with an example. Example for aldehyde, let us take. Acetaldehyde. Formula of acetaldehyde is CH3CHO. Acetaldehyde reacts with hydroxyl amine NH2OH, resulting in the formation first as an addition compound OH here. And this with NH, the OH to be linked. If you write and understand the general formula, you can write with the general formula any number of equations. You just need to take care to replace the R with appropriate group of the aldehyde. So now in this case, we have replaced R with CH3. So let me do that here. So this is an addition compound in the intermediate step. Now what happens? Elimination of water. OH from here and H from here. So therefore, we will end up in the formation as CH3 as it is linked with carbon. And this carbon linked with nitrogen by double bond. Above hydrogen remaining as it is. So therefore now, there is no hydrogen here. So linked with OH and then molecule of water. So the name of this compound is because it is obtained from acetaldehyde, the name of this compound is acetaldoxin. The name of this compound is acetaldoxin. Aldoxin is the name as I have already told you. If the oxins are obtained from aldehyde, they should be called as aldoxin. Now which aldehyde is that? That specificity is given by the name acetaldoxin means this is a aldoxin obtained from acetaldehyde as our starting material. Now
Now, similar kind of addition reaction is also shown by the ketones. Now, let us see how this happens. So, I do the required change for a ketone representation in the same formula. You know ketone general formula is RCO R dash. So, now ketone also adds with hydroxyl amine in the same manner as aldehyde. So, therefore, from here 1H goes with oxygen, comes out as pure addition, linked with carbon as OH and then the remaining NH and OH takes a linkage. So, we have a similar kind of a compound excepting for the presence of one more R there and now this will eliminate a molecule of water. How? OH from here, H with nitrogen goes out as water. So, therefore, the product obtained here, we call it by the name as ketoxins. Earlier, it was called by the name as aldoxins because the starting material was aldehyde. Now, they are referred by the name as ketoxins because the product obtained is from a ketone. Now, let us understand this further in detail with an example. So, the common example that we usually consider will be the acetone. Formula for acetone is CH3COCH3. Symmetrical ketone it is because both the R's are made up of the alike CH3 group or the methyl group. Now this adds with hydroxyl amine in the place of double bond. Now what is the product we are going to land up in? CH3C as it is. CH3C as it is. Above there is CH3. So let us write CH3. And then remaining what happens? 1H with combined with oxygen and links as OH. And then this will be remaining with one more H. So NH linked with OH. NH linked with OH. This is an unstable compound. This will eliminate a molecule of water. How? OH from here. H from here goes out as water. So therefore carbon and nitrogen will be linked by means of double bond. So therefore the final product obtained is a ketoxin. Ketoxin being a general name. The specific name of this compound is acetoxin. Because it is obtained from acetone as our starting material as you can see. Acetone is the ketone which is our starting material. So we landed up in the formation of acetoxin. Now as you have observed aldehydes and ketones are forming the same kind of a product namely oxins when they are treated with hydroxyl amine. So you should remember that if you are writing with ketone Remember to write the two R's and if you are writing with aldehyde, instead of two R's, replace one of the R with hydrogen. So if you learn one equation, automatically you can write the rest of the equation for both aldehyde and ketone. And if you practice to write the general reaction, you will also be able to write the specific reaction just by replacing the R's with the specific group.